Today I'm going to talk about your lower extremity mechanics and how your knee, your hip, and your foot and ankle will affect all of your skating skills. When you look at the way that your leg moves, you want to see when you bend your knee that your knee tracks over your toe like this. You don't want to see any turn in of the knee. Any excessive turn in like this is called knee valgus. Females naturally have a certain degree of a valgus angle, but you don't want to see more than what is normal. When a skater goes to take off for a jump, there should be good alignment with the hip and the knee over the skate. What's going to affect that is several things. First is the pronation of your foot and your, your arch position. So if someone is a pronator, meaning they turn in when they bend, that ankle is going to roll inward. What that does is it's going to cause the knee to turn in after it and go at an angle like this. So foot pronation is one thing that you need to address to correct that angle. Another thing that it can affect the angle of the knee is strength of the hip. Your glute medius muscle is located in this area. It's the primary stabilizer of your hip and your pelvis. If you have a weak glute medius on one side, that's gonna cause a hip and pelvic drop on the opposite side. So instead of being able to hold your pelvis level like this, if that glute medius is weak, you're gonna see a drop here. That weakness is also gonna to contribute to that knee turn in. Weakness here, hip drop, knee turns in. So if you have a combination of a couple of these factors, the foot pronation, with the ankle rolling in, weak glute medius, that's gonna cause the knee to turn in even further. So on a jump, you go to take off, and this is your alignment, everything's gonna to drop to this side. So that's one of the reasons how lower extremity mechanics can affect you in jumps, in spins, and footwork and everything. Um, it can affect your ability to hold an edge on an outside edge, if you're going along, on your outside edge here, if your body is pulling you this way, you're gonna pull onto a flat or towards that inside edge. That's why it's very important if you have flat feet to address that with both either arch supports in the skate or moving the blade to a certain position where you're not gonna turn in so much. If you have a skater where you're seeing some of these biomechanical issues, Make sure that they get that addressed and are evaluated by a professional who can check out if it's strength, if it's flexibility, or if it's the flat-footedness that's causing it. Once they get that taken care of, you'll see a huge improvement in their skating skills.